I trust you are a friend to Liberty. Oh, that's not good. But yeah, there were even these, uh, laws. So there were these laws, uh, that the... that were put out, uh, during the, uh, Great Depression, I think, which basically said if an international war starts, America was supposed to cut off all trade with any belligerent countries. Um, because that's kind of how they got pulled into the First World War. They were, uh, the U.S. was trading with Great Britain, um, but Great Britain had a blockade around Germany. Otherwise, U.S. would be trading with Germany as well. Germany was getting no sea trade, so they responded by setting up a submarine warfare zone around the British Isles, which basically shot down and sunk any British merchant ship in the area. Um, then when the Lusitania sunk, which was a British merchant ship, well... Oh. No pyramids. That's disappointing. It was a British passenger ship, which was carrying... arms for the war, and had some Americans on it. When it sunk in 1915, America sent an ultimatum to Germany to stop submarine warfare, which initially they did, but after relations with America started to get a little more tense, uh, the Germans got more and more worried that the U.S. would join the war on the Entente side. So they reopened submarine warfare, and this time it was unrestricted, so it wasn't just British ships they were sinking, but any ship in the area. And they also tried to plot with Mexico to get the Mexicans to invade America for the promise that they would reclaim all the lands they lost during the Mexican-American War. Which was a very stupid idea. Mexico didn't actually take it. And America also found out about it, which just made them even more willing to join the war. But yeah, after uh, Germany started sinking... Oh, hello! Of what? Okay, this has to be a bug. Lord Albert I of the Soviet Union. What is this? Brussels... What the hell? Okay, I'm just gonna pretend they're Belgium then. Actually, just a minute. I'm going to, uh... Um... Crap. What? Uh, I'm probably going to delete some of those screenshots. Um... Yeah. That's just weird. Okay, I'm going to need to look into what that bug is, but I've already got my save game going. So I'm really not going to be changing anything about this. 
So what, does that make Lenin now the leader of Belgium? Or is it going to be two Soviet Unions? Which would mean, instead of having two Russias, this game will have three Russias. Mathematics is the gate and key to the sciences. Well, I'm, I'm just going to call uh, Albert's country... Uh, okay, so there is apparently a road there that is invisible. Okay. I'm just going to pretend that that's Belgium. Because it has a Belgian leader, the Belgian... Uh, city names... Oh! Bitches! They're the ones who took the pyramid. Pyramids for me. Those little bitches. Hey, America, Greece, are you two still at war? Yep. Is anyone else at war with anyone else? Not that we know of. Okay. So we also want to improve our production. So let's see, what could we work to that would allow that to happen? Metal casting. We could go iron working. We do have some iron reserves. Wait. Oh, fuck. Ah, oh, damn it. That improved mine from the Kefalia doesn't actually give us the, uh... It doesn't actually give us the iron. So that means either I'm going to have to... build over that, or I'm going to need to build on a new source of iron. Uh, that's marble. Is there any... Okay, there's iron up here. Uh, so I might want to work towards getting that next city up and running soon. So, let's do that. Or... Now, this would probably piss America off, but I could put it there on that hill, which is just far enough away from Boston that it would work. It would give this six iron here, and we'd be able to reach King Solomon's mines eventually. As well as that wheat. You know what? Yeah. That's a good place to put a city. But it would probably incur the wrath of Greece and possibly America. I don't know, they're not that aggressive in this game, but... They're no Gandhi, and I'm talking about Gandhi in real life, because Gandhi in this game is the biggest warmonger... Seriously. It's... It's actually kind of creepy. Well, creepy's not the best word, but it's weird. If you actually go in and look at the code of Civ 5, and you compare different stats of different AI leaders, Gandhi actually has the highest chance of using nukes. At 120%. 12 out of 10. It baffles my mind that they would even record. That they would even do go that high. Because there's a... 2-point tolerance. Um, so... When they put in a point for a character, like, say, if it were six, that means it would be randomly chosen between four and eight, what the stat is. 
But the maximum is 10. So if they put in 12, that means automatically the only viable option is 10, which means there's no randomization. Always 10 out of 10 would nuke. You know what, that's probably go going to be the name of the title for this episode. 10 out of 10 would nuke. Yep. That's, uh, that's Gandhi for you. I remember watching the, uh, Yogscast Civ 5 series, um, and, uh, one of the people in there, Duncan, he was playing under the Steam name Mighty Warlord Duncan, and had chosen India as his civilization, so he would be playing as Gandhi, and right from the start, he introduced himself as the Mighty Warlord Gandhi. As a joke, which I found pretty humorous. It was funny. It was. Don't give me that look. I'm not trying to leech off the success of the Le Yox Castle. Uh, don't, don't, don't be ridiculous. That, that's... Okay. You want an embassy in my capital. You're the one I made the uh, trade with for the... Right. So let me think. Uh, I don't want to spend the money, but... Uh, yeah, sure, fine. Excellent. Because otherwise he'd keep asking me, and... I you know what? You can say it. I shouldn't have made that first deal with him for the uh, money to get an embassy in his capital. I usually never make deals like that. I shouldn't have done that this time, and it won't happen in the future. Okay, well, I can't say that for certain. I'm gonna hope it doesn't happen in the future, because it, it was a bad deal that I shouldn't have taken.